We are learning Parak Yud Dalad. And remember, we're going in order Parak Yud Beige, Parak Yud Gimel, Parak Yud Dalad, which has to do um, backwards, Machshava Dibur Amaisa. Uh, first Parak. By the way, I think I misspoke on um, Sunday. I said Machshava Dibur Amaisa forward. The problem was just a mistake. It's the first, the first part meaning Parakut Bays, tells us about the um, unbelievable influence that we have, not only in this world, but in the Shemayim, with our Maisim, which I suppose is somehow the most poshut, the most <laughs> obvious, what you do has an effect on the Shemayim. Um, Parakut Gimel, which we spent a good amount of time on, talks about how even our Dibor and even the... Uh, have a peeve, even the noise or the coal that we do, even a godal anocha, Shiva Shaber is called Gufa Shalado, Kol Tinoiko Shilves Rabban, different sounds that we make, even that has an effect on the Shemayim. And Parakidala talks about Machshava, so Minakal Ola Kosha, if you will, so it's not Machshava, Dibur, Maisa, which works this way, but Maisa, Dibur, Machshava, which works that way. These three, let me remind you, Remember, what there's the person. Let's let's think about ourselves as people that can think, people that can talk, and people that can do. Um, animals can do. We don't know about their thinking. They think something, um, but they certainly can't talk. So these three are real. What defines the um, person, a human being? Machshava, Dibur, and Maisa. They are, uh, kabbalistically speaking. Keneged, Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama. Three parallel concepts. Complicated stuff. Remember, this is not, you know, not a schmooze. We've got to, <laughs> this is the important ideas here. Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama. So Nefesh has to do with the Misa of a person, Nefesh. Even though in modern Hebrew, that's not the way it is. Nefesh is your psychology or something like that. <coughs> Personality it has to do with the mice of the person. That's the nefesh. That's the lowest part of us, and the ruach. Is, we all know that, which allows us to speak. And nefesh, ruach, neshama, is the neshama. So the machshava deeper mice has to do with machshava connected neshama, ruach connected deeper, and and um, nefesh connected mice. Since we say nefesh, ruach, neshama, not neshama, ruach, nefesh, so the order of the nefesh achayim is maisa, dibur, machshava. Mm -hmm. That's the math here. So now we're up to, so we're going, what, what, they're about the same thing. There's, a, there's, a, there's no particular reason in, to the order of this except for that when we're thinking about how a person was created, so, Soif Maisa Machshava Tchila starts off with Machshava. So, when we're talking about uh, the, the creation of a person, we're talking about things. Talk about Machshava Dibur Maisa. When we're talking about what, how we're, um, par how we're um, relating to our lives, so we think about Maisa Dibur. Machshava. We should not think about it that way. If you're a neshama dikiyid, first you think, then you talk, then you do. But uh, if you're not a neshama dikiyid, so first you do, then maybe you think about it afterwards, and, uh, and you're always talking. <laughs> always talking. But, but human effort is machshava dibur Machshava dibur There seems there seems to be a whole range between ma'isa and dibur. Is that? Part of nefesh, is that part of where does one end, where does the other begin? Like the, the emotional realm that, like you're saying, the secular the psychology, psychology of a person. Why can't that be nefesh reaching up and filling that whole space? Uh, up absolutely correct. Uh, absolutely correct. A very good point. And the Ramchal speaks this point out. The Ramchal speaks about um, uh, nine levels, I believe, between nine levels of, of dibor, which reach you until. Until nine levels of Misa, which leads you all the way up to your psychological and personality development, right? You wrote a book about this. And then there's another nine levels of Dibur, believe it or not, but it's Dibur of Tfilah, Dibur of, uh, of, of Mitzvah, Dibur of Aver, Lashon Har, etc. 
Um, and then there's Machshav and Neshama, which also has many, many Madregas, which actually that's what we're holding on today, Yud Dalit. So just wanted to make sure we all get the, uh, the structure here correctly. <laughs> so we are now on Perak Yud Dalit, learning about the Machshava, read nesh- Neshama of a person. And let me throw one more trifecta into this, and that is that there are four Elamois. Another thing, <coughs> should make a chart, yeah? There's four Elamois, there's the, uh, somebody do that please for homework, that would be, but the, <laughs> there's, the, there's the world of Atsilus, Bria, Yitzira, Asiya. Uh, I, I often say, look at it as a sort of uh, an assembly line of creation until something comes to Misa, to the actual physical world, that's Misa, right? So that's the world of Asiya, that's easy. Uh, Misa, Asiya, it's even the same word. Misa, Asiya, that, that which gets done. Uh, before that is the world of, on top of that, let's, let's say, is the world of Yitzira, which is where um, deep work comes into it. That's the world of Ruach. By Yipach, Ba'ap of Lishmas Chaim, Targum famously says, Ruach memalala, ruach. So ruach has to do with dibor, and ruach has to do with that aspect of the neshava. And then there's um, there's the world of bria, which is the world of neshama. And what's what's important to understand with the the, the insight, if you will, of the kabbalah, which is all we need to understand about the kabbalah here. With the insight of the of the kabbalah is that our neshama comes from the world of bria. Neshamas were not created in atzilus. Atzilus has to do with hetzel Hashem. Um, in the in the entire picture of creation, the shamois that we carry around with us, wherever it may be, um, that that um, that was created in the world of Bria. Uh, and uh, Chazal even pinpoint where Bria that is, because we know that the Kisya Kavod is in the world of Bria, which has very little to do, to my understanding, with a chair, you know, or a throne or something like that. The, the Kisya Kavod is in the world of Bria. And mimenu lashanam gemara, mimenu nish neshamais machtsavais. From there, the neshamais are carved out. Machtsavais neshama. And the, the gemara says, maybe Chagiga, the gemara says that um, that the neshama of the zayar is myrich on this. That the neshama of Moshe Rabbeinu, very special neshama, um, was chatsuva mitachas. It seems like um, this is something which is uh, new that we're really <coughs> learning today. There are different kinds of neshamas. Not all neshamas are created equal. As Americans, we don't like to hear that. <laughs> but all the sh- not all neshamas are created equal. There are uh, re- there are different kinds of neshamas, and uh, there's the shab- They all come from the kiseyak We're going to learn a little bit about that. But there's not. A, but like. You might, you, you might have a very high neshama. Not everybody has the same kind of neshama. Moshe Rabbeinu had a different kind of neshama. Tachas kisei akavo. And then the, the um, Chazal say, V'loi Moshe Rabbeinu levad amru alo kol tzadikim. See, a tzadik, a tzadik is machtseves tachas kisei hakavo. It's a special place for the oil of a neshama. Now, now different, a higher neshama is not necessarily a better person, I just want to uh, point out. Doesn't, doesn't make a better person. Everybody has a different uh, tachlis. You know, the, the Zayar says before, in, um, I think in uh, Tikkunay Zayar, <coughs> in Bracious, so, uh, if you look in the Tikkunay Zayar, in Bracious, it says that there's different kinds of neshamas made for different kinds of things. For instance, if you're, if you're in a certain kind of neshama, you'll relate more to Kabbalah. This term, so if you're a different kind of neshama, you'll relate more to Halacha. Uh, so it's not like you know, um, you know, how did you grow up? Or it's not, it's not nurture, it's nature in terms of the neshama to a large degree. Everybody knows the famous story about the uh, Rizal who was giving a shear in, in Svas to, to, to the Chavraya Kadisha, uh, the Rizal was there, the Rabak or Moshe Kardavaro was there, the Elsha Hakadosh was there, the Rabbi of Cairo was there. They said, you know, like you know, something like this here today. Very, <laughs> <laughs> uh, very, very chashuv chabura uh, there. So every time the Arizal would get, they all gave shear. The Alshif was the big darshan, the Ramak was the, uh, and, and the, and the, um, and the Lechadoidi, um, 
He was the Chazan. Arizal was like the Mashkiach, and Beis Yosef was the Rav, and the Al Shech was the Magid. He gave the Darsh, you know, like, what a shul. Yeah. <laughs> what a shul. So every time the Arizal gave a shear, it's fast. Every time everybody came, the Tzadikim came, and the Beis Yosef fell asleep. <laughs> uh, he fell asleep. Beis Yosef, Beis Yosef. <laughs> we, we, we can't move without the Beis Yosef. Wasn't Iran. It was, it was wasn't it was than the Arizal Arizal told him he felt, felt very bad. He told the Arizal, I don't know why every time you talk, I fall asleep. He says, you have a different kind of Neshavah. Mm-hmm. Your Neshavah is for Halacha, and I'm speaking for the Neshavah of Kabbalah. I told him to stop coming. <laughs> he was a young boy then, right? I don't know. I thought he was much younger than the... Ruth Tzadikakai. You want to say something? <laughs> well, he obviously had a different neshama than where, where his source was. His, you know, you know, you're 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 feeding into a misnomer, and that is that like the Hasidim are kabbalistic and the Litvaks are are uh, are, 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 are 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 halachic. Um, probably the bekubel, the biggest bekubel of the whole generation is Avil Gaon. I think everybody's basking that he was the bekubel of the generation, and. Uh, and there were, there were, there was like the Avni Nasser. He was the Posek Hador, Chassid The Posek Hador. There's, it's, it's not uh, this. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm anti, I'm anti these classifications because, um, you know, everybody says, you know, when you daven, daven like a Chassid, and when you learn, learn like a Litvax. There's just some, there's many, there's many Chassidim that know how to learn like uh, better than Litvax, and many Litvax that have daven better than Chassidim. I, I, it's just. Uh, it has to do not with the, the, the uh, silly divisions that we've made in this world. It has to do with the neshava, where the neshava is. But there is a difference in neshava. Not every neshava Hashem made it that way. <coughs> Hashem made a situation where every neshava is not the same. Again, that's better, not better, not worse. So, so here Chazal tells us Moshe Rabbeinu is a certain kind of uh, neshava. A certain kind of neshava. It, it could be, um, it can be treacherous to have a certain kind of neshava. Might not be fun to have a neshama which is, you know, um, which has a certain kind of a different calling than other people. There are some people have the neshama a desire. Is my certain people have a neshama to blend, and some people have a neshama to stand out. Stand out. Uh, it talks about the neshamas of Shimon and Levi. They're different. Shimon, Shimon, not just Levi, like Moshe Rabbeinu was from Levi, but uh, a different type of neshama. Neshama of uh, of, of a person who's the protester. So, you know, it doesn't make you bad or good if you do or you don't. There's different kinds of neshavas. Uh, you know, and then there, there, are, there is such a thing also as a neshava klali. That's the ultimate sort of neshava where you're kolal everything in it. So what's... Um, what's the chaya? If, if, okay, one second. Okay. But um, it's a short answer, I don't know. But, but the... <laughs> the um, see, by the way, this is... This is the, if I could just be... Um, educationally political for a moment. You see, this is the problem with trying to um, uh, stuff everybody into one can because, uh, let's say kids, you know, like, uh, just, just try to get everybody to be the same, yeah. which, is, uh, which is the horror of the way an educational system, that's what schools do, you know, but it's like saying everybody should wear the same size shoe. You know, even the communists couldn't pull that one off. Like it's not. It's not. It doesn't. It doesn't work, uh, because you're talking about different kinds of neshamas. So if the Beis Yosef fell asleep by the Arizal, maybe the Arizal fell asleep by the Beis Yosef. So she Europe too. I, I. You know. I don't know. You know. We don't have that on the historical record, but we don't. We do know that he fell asleep and it made history. Like that's. <laughs> like you know, imagine like somebody here falls asleep and you make history. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we do a lot of history around here. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of history for yeah, for all generations. Everybody knows the Beis Yosef. Uh, well, I just met a, a Caro who was uh, a oh, nephew really? of the Beis. You know, really. And uh, you know, what came to mind is to tell this lady that you know your grandfather fell asleep. Yeah, <laughs> 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 results. So okay, so that different, different, different kinds of neshamas for different kinds of people, or different kinds of people because of different kinds of neshamas. So that's that's important for us to know. Again, that's all. In the world of Bachshava, in the world of Bria, <coughs> in the world of Neshama. 
that's the that's the parallel that's the parallel that we're working with right now. Just remember the, the world of Brio, where the Shabbos are created, different parts of the Tisha Kav of Kedirah. There's the world of uh, parallel to that is the world of the Shaba, obviously, because that's where the Shabbos are made in the world of Bria. And parallel to that is the world of Machshava, which is perhaps the most interesting because we can relate the most to, to Machshava. But a person's Machshava, the Lashon of Chazal, you are where you think. You, you, you are, uh, whereas the Goyim are telling us you are what you eat, um, you are what you think. The the shel uh, brings It's where where you're thinking. You see that uh, Yaakov Avinu was dreaming of, at the sulam. He was here on earth. But he, but he, when he dreamt about the the sulam, but his his statement was, <coughs> I didn't know that I'm there. Well, he wasn't there. He was sleeping. <coughs> Over here, but the pshat is that he was there because his machshava was there. His machshava was on top of the sula. That was the neshama of, of of Yaakov Avinu. Machshava is parallel to which to which neshama, bria. So we're talking now on on a, on a talking about machshava. Can neshama change in one's life? Can it say what? Can neshama change during one's life? Because you know, like Rabbi Kiva, right? He wasn't sadic when he was in the beginning, so. He worked too as the potential. Same, same shama or like, as you said, shama from the How do you know what is the shama was? How do you no, know what is the sonic? He said something come from the kisei of right. so, so it's not even the sonic from the beginning. Right. So, 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 so the Arizal tells us that Rabbi Kiva was a Gilgul of Moshe Rabbi. <laughs> no, he can't change. So you could, you could, you work it. It would be, a, it would be a really nice thing. Look, everybody has to keep halach and everybody has to respect for everybody. But it would be a nice thing if there would be a navi around that would tell everybody what their shurish on the shama means. Uh, but. Uh, I don't know, some some Kabbalah claim to be able to do that. Um, I don't know. Someone with a great... Here, Makubal, can they do it? <laughs> how do you tell somebody what, what, uh, what how do they know what their Shari Shana is? It's hard to, hard to call, that's a hard call to make. Shari Shana Shabbat, Nevi'im did. So the Rabban says that the, in Babidbar, the beginning of Babidbar, the Rabban says that every Jew had an opportunity to, to walk by Moshe Rabbeinu for a second or two seconds. Uh, every single Jew, he's out there, and, 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 and at that moment, they, he told them their Shurish on the show. I didn't see nice experience. With, someone with a very high neshama, if they're not from, you can tell they can do amazing things or very bad things because it's driven. It's driven, and they don't know where to where to channel it. It's still there. It's just absolutely true. Open. Very, very, very um, provocative. Uh, the uh, meaning, like, I don't. I'm not a couple, so I don't know. I don't know how to tell somebody to share the Shabbat. But you can see clearly special the Shabbos. And you see people that are, like you say, not from at all, but they seem to have a very unusual. Uh, Types of neshamas you can just see by the things that they're attracted to. There's certain things that they they, they sort of like need to do. So um, and and it's hard to uh, it's hard to know if Les Moshe Rabbeinu is standing there telling you this is your neshama. That would be a great service if somebody could uh, <laughs> <laughs> could do that uh, because then you know like you know why should like we would have. Can you imagine how beautiful it would be like maybe when Mashiach comes we'll have um, you know special schools for this kind of neshama and that, you know, that kind of neshama. And uh, everybody would become great, you know. Uh, you know, you have a certain neshama. You should become. A, you should learn sight. You should learn nigla. You should be involved in uh, social activism. Uh, you know, you should be involved in halacha. You should be a posseg. Uh The gemara is a is to all this. The gemara says that however uh, don dini misheva don who the gemara says himself. And the person says, um, you know, okay, let's go to court. <laughs> you know, some people like that. Like you know, you can't get through a conversation without saying. So let's go to court. Let's go to deter. You know, let's go. Some people are like that. So um, you're laughing because you're a lawyer. <laughs> I know if you like that. <laughs> and some people like that can't. You know, some people. Oh, I don't know anything. I don't want to go to deter. I don't want to go to court. You know. So the Gemara says, however, done did he? Or is it a done? Very simple. You have a done to shove up. You're a done deal. You're done. done. <laughs> you know, person. Everybody's a different. Uh, somebody loves the water. You know, the Gemara says, somebody who loves the water. He just shave it's zvulun. He's a Zvulunar. And by the way, I don't think that this necessarily anymore, another Chiddush while we're talking, goes um, like father, son, and son. So, like, you know, like, 
I, I'm convinced that my father El Vashol was Beshevet Zvulun, and Rishabha from Zvulun. I mean, he, he, he saw water, he transformed. You know, he spent, he spent uh, 30 years in the ships, so he was, you know, was running guns for the Haganah, you know, but he, the, the part he loved about it was the water. Other people loved the guns, you know, they loved the Haganah, loved the state of Israel. He did all that, but I, I mean, but the, the Iker was like, whoa, let's take a trip across the Mediterranean. You know? That was his, uh, yeah. so it was Shosheim and Zvulun, you know, I have kids from the same Mishpacha that, that can't stand, you know, like get seasick. So, so it's, not, it's not necessarily... Um, it's not necessarily a familial thing. We're talking about an, uh, a neshama thing. It's a neshama thing. Might be, might not be uh, hereditary. So just because, what I'm trying to say is, just because you're one kind of a neshama doesn't mean that your kid is that kind of neshama. doesn't mean all your kids are the same neshama. So, so what, what this means educationally, a very, very practical and important point, is that uh, even if we don't know the cherished neshama of every one of our kids, you can know that they don't necessarily have the same type of neshama. In fact, they're all different. Every Nushab is different, even if you're in the same sort of category, they're all different. Moshe Rabbeinu is different than Yoshua. Two, two, two great Sadiqim, the one after the you know, subsequent Sadiqim, but uh, play Moshe, can play Achaba, play Yoshua, can play Elevana. There's so much, uh, there's so much uh, written about this in, in Sifre Kabbalah and in Medrash about the different kinds of Nushab, it's just important to know. So that's, that's our, our sugya here is the sugya of this, this exact thing, like being Misake. Our neshama, which how do you actually? Let me just say this. This is the key to to what we're starting to learn here. How do you um, like? We know how you talk, blah blah blah, right? Talk. We know how you do. How, so that's we understand sort of like um, the how to of Dibor and the how to of Baisa. What's the how to of neshama? What is the how to of neshama? What part of what do you do with your neshama? Well, you know what you do with your with your with your Dibor, what do you do with your Neshava? So, so here, Chazal say, Machshava. Machshava. Machshava is what you do with your Neshava. So what you think is who you are. This, this is, this is, you'll see is, is very important. Is that related? I, I got like the Moshe Shapiro, Allah B'Shalom, so every time he spoke about the Neshava, my Neshava, <laughs> I didn't say about Neshava like everybody else says this about Neshava. Like, uh, because he understood that Neshava is a Machshava. Does that relate, relate to the Pintaliyid at all? I don't know where that, I mean, everything fits in. Everything <laughs> relates, but let's, let's, uh, let's be very careful here. Let's be very careful to be sophisticated and understand each thing for what well, it is. But one is, when this, the Tzadikim come from under the Kisa covers, I mean, certain Islamists can be the Tzadikim and certain can't, or it's just that everything reaches their potential just in a different that's right. Expression. Not everybody's going to be a, maybe a tzaddik in the vernacular. Everybody will be a tzaddik. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, when we when somebody dies, everybody's a zecher tzaddik, right. <laughs> even Rishon. Right. So, so uh, but uh, it, it's not a tzaddik in, in terms of tzaddik yisoy to oil, but not a not a tzaddik. Tzaddik is a certain kind of a neshama. Uh -huh. it's, it's not um, you know. So everyone wants their kids to be tzaddikim. But uh, it, it, that's just the vernacular to, to uh, term. That's not a real. That's not a real term. Doesn't some of the limit in their potential. Well, some people are not meant to be tzaddik. I, I, I'll give you a very simple example uh, from our generation. Is everybody meant to be in a base matter all day learning? I mean, can any look? I was like, can anybody argue logically that that's the right thing for every single Jew to do? I could argue logically that there's so few people doing it that everybody who can do it should. I could hear that. I could hear but uh, you can't throw away Shas. <laughs> the whole Shas is full of Rabbi and Asad. So those are the Gedola. So it, you, you obviously, like, one person is meant to be a Malam and Dardiki, and one person is meant to be a shoemaker, and one person is meant to be uh, a, an engineer and a scientist. And then there's a different, also different Neshavas. Uh, so the, like, the takeaway from the whole thing is that you can't try to make everybody, so everybody always tells me these words like, you know, oh, what happened to, you know, coming to Israel, my children being Sadiqim. <laughs> I hear that all the, all the time, oh, what happened to Sadiqim, you know. So, okay. huh? <laughs> I think people are, people are disappointed, uh, uh, particularly, um, you know, I, I, forgive me, I'm just particularly the Bali Chuko, so they, when they come into the, uh, when they rejoin the fold, so they're always told, like, you know, you do this, and you'll live in a place where your children will be tzaddikia. And then all of a sudden, 20 years later, whoa, <laughs> he's no tzaddik. But, but, um, but that doesn't mean that, that you, they, the kid 
doesn't have a very unique and special Dusheva, and it doesn't mean that um, there's no there's no room for disappointment. It, means, it doesn't mean that it was wrong to become from because that's really through Yiddishkeit that you can act, actual actualize that uh, neshama. So that's really the best way to do that anyway. So, but but like that, it's not a one size fits all thing. And this is like key importance. Says one of the things that we lost because of the gullus. That's what gullus is. Boom, everything split apart. Like we don't, we just don't know any longer. Except we have right, right the gabbard grapples with the with the hargation that a person has and a person can feel. Um, I don't think it's as easy as just going to some guy in uh, you know up north and. You know, he tells you, okay, this is your Dushama, you know, uh, your, this is your Gilgul of this. Maybe, if they know something, I don't know where they know it from. I've looked at least, I've glanced a lot as far as, they don't tell, them, they don't tell, tell you these kind of things. So, so I don't know how they know it. I don't know where they, where they know it from. On a Nazi level, that's what Chazal tells Chanach Simple as that. <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as that. There's a, one of those psukim that... Uh, you know, it's like as much as I think to show you, yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of be dark. You know, every time I see an ad for a school or you see, like, you know, absolute individualized attention. It's baloney. <laughs> Why do they say that? That's so like just uh, this is a school. I mean, I can understand a different thing. Like, let's make a school. If you feel this is for your neshama, like you go to brisk. I went to brisk. You go to brisk. It's for a certain type of person. Dafka wasn't for me. I left. I, I left. I was there, spent six months getting in, and six months getting out. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it just wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. It just like wasn't for me. But everybody, for other people, like it's it's a. I mean, what's the shaila? Big talmid and huge huge people and huge. It's a certain kind of a, a, a zach, you know. So uh, you know, people went to Panovich before the war. You know, like I mean, the, the breakup of Panovich. So, yeah, the Panovich war. There, there was there was a, <laughs> there was a. It, it was very, very different. I can tell you when I would, by just my own, when I was a yeshiva, it was very different than being a, a brisker, was being a panovich, or being a chavrinder. So then I understand, like, different yeshivas for different people, and I even understand that yeshivas should be very particular who they take in, because you don't want to have the wrong kind of uh, person in your yeshiva. This is not your thing, you know? I know the yeshivas of Makubalim, I went to uh, Abba Shalom, with Rabbi Yaakov Hillel, uh, Shalita, and uh, he was very, very particular. Uh, it's it's uh, both in learning, but also in you know the type the type of. Um, I, I think I always tell the story when I w when I went to Brisk for Barrels Halavechik, Zeicher Tzadik Levracha. So I prepared and prepared and prepared for the test to get in. Like if you're going to say you have to say a shtickle Torah, and, and then he goes and he slugs you up, and you have to be able to answer quickly. I'm very I'm very nervous about it. And uh, when I went in, he asked me, uh, he must have said the story a hundred times already, but I went in, he asked me, like, where are you from? So I said, Buffalo, New York. So he said, is that near Niagara Falls? Or I told him it's near Niagara Falls. I said, I said, he said, is that where the electricity all comes from? So I said, yes. Yeah. So, so he says to me, how did that work? <laughs> <laughs> how do you get electricity for the whole uh, you know, Niagara frontier uh, from, 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 from waterfalls? So... Um, Oh. <laughs> I just started to explain a little bit what I understood about uh, generators and things like that. He says, okay, you can come to the issue. Babash did not want to hear my shtickle The last thing that he wanted to hear was my partner. But then we can think. If you think about things, are you intelligent? That's, that's what it, that's. Anyways, my point is that different, different, different strokes for different folks and, um, and different neshamas have different things, and, and uh, we need to be aware of that for ourselves. We need to be aware. And this all manifests itself um, in the world of Machshava. All manifests itself in the world of Machshava. So let's just do a little bit of Vedavish Achaim, because that's what we came here for. Again, we're talking about how, not so much about how Hashem affects our Machshava, but how our Machshava affects Hashem. That's what we're talking about. Omar David Amelech Olava Sholom, Perikidal. Ha Yoitzer Yachad Libom Ha Maven El Kol Maasehim. Pasagantilim Lama Gimel that everyone's familiar with. Ha Yoitzer Yachad Libom. He created, uh, you see here the world of Yitzir, yeah? Because Lave, just to be, be Medayak here, Ha Yoitzer Yachad Libom, whenever you see a reference to Lave, it's always a reference to the world of Yitzira. Klal Gadol Batilam. 
When you see lev, you talk about yitzir. Hayoitzer yachad liba. Not just lev is made yitzir. Many things. Yitzir is basically the world of malachim, and yitzir is the world of the beginning of the period of division. And the lev is divided into two. Let's call it yitzir hara, yitzir atov. Um, that division cannot take place in the world of Bria because there is no division in the world of Bria. So what happens is the neshama goes from the world of Bria, walks into the world of Yitzira, and the malachim start going at it, and um, it's like it's like separating Siamese twins. It's, all of a sudden, there's two parts to the person. So part of me wants to do this. Um, Yitzir, Yitzir, her... Uh, Yetzer Hatov, that's all in the lev. Yetzer. Does it go Moach Lev Yedayim something in the three like that also? No. I mean also, Moach Shavadim or Maisa. But uh, uh, lev, what's that about? You're confusing. Uh, um, uh, Yetzer Hara is a function of the lev. Hence the word Yetzer Yachad Libam, the world of Yetzer. Yetzer Hatov. They're both a function of division, beginning, the beginning of division. The, the sort of division within us. Ki yetzer lev ha'adam ra minura. Listen to the passage. Yetzer lev ha'adam ra minura. The lev is where the evil starts to creep in. In the world of Yetzira, this happened already. In the world of Bria, there is no tovara, there's no arvachoshech. In the world of Bria, there's no divisions. Echad. The only place where division begins is that Yitzira becomes more so in the world of of, of Asiya, where everything is divided and divided and subdivided. <coughs> Hence, we have the situation that we have. But everything has to be. This paper is different than this paper. Different type. It's separated. That's in this world, Asiya. We our job is actually to divide things even more. You know, what's a uh, you know what's what's a good London? A good lambdan is somebody who can make distinctions. <coughs> it's not somebody who can put things together. This reminds me of that, that reminds me of this, reminds me of that, abarts. This is different than that, this is different than that. You can't compare the two things. That's, that's a lambdan where you can divide things and subdivide and subdivide. So, you know, uh, um, we used to talk about nutrients, now we talk about micronutrients. Uh, you know, the, the, we used to talk about things. Now we talk about molecules. It's it's the, the more advanced science gets, the more divided things are, the more distinctions there are to this world. Very important, very important, because we're in the world of distinction, we're in the world of asiya, we're in the world of pirud. Um, but the the when we talk about lev, which is the beginning, the internal yetser lev ha'adam rami nuro. That's where the Ra sets in. Akash Baruch says, I'm not going to destroy the world anymore. The Yetzir Lev Ha the Ra I'm not going to, like, like the, 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 like this was an evil, this was part of my creation. Now, that being said, it's our job to work be Kovish and work on that. That's our challenge. But that's where it all begins. It doesn't begin. The Shoresh, do you see what we're learning here today? Remember I said? The Shoresh of the Neshama <coughs> is, which has to do with Bachshava, that's how you activate. The neshava, machshava, what you think about. That's why it's so important to think and learning. The shorish of the neshava is in the world of, of, of Bria. Let's call that the world of Kisei The shorish of the lave is in the world of Yitzira. And there there's malachim. That's where malachim come about. There's no malachim in Bria, apparently. <coughs> One of the things the malachim are busy with is sorting out these neshamas and making them and then we're born into this world, you know, Bishtel, Cholavavcha, Cholavavcha, Bishnei Yitzrecha, as I'll say, Bishnei Yitzrecha, two parts, two, two things in here that Yitzira gave me, my neshama. We need to understand this about ourselves. There's two parts. What about the guy who doesn't seem to have the Sahara? Never. <laughs> He, he missed the whole world <laughs> of Yitzira. Okay, maybe there's certain like neshamas like that that come straight into this. Maybe there's such a thing. But that's not what we're meant to be. That's not, that's maybe some unusual thing that Akash Baruch Hu 
creates these Lama Gvam Sadikim or Sadik or something like that. That's a different schmooze. But um, when we talk about, so Cesar Chaim Lajan, very Meduyak. If you just read this, you're not reading this, but I'm telling you this is what it means. Hayoitzer Yacha Lipam Hamevin Alkoma Sam. Goes from Lev to Misa. Goes from Yitzira to Asiya. Look at the two worlds. From Yitzira. You know, what's very interesting, by the way, is I'm hoping, I hope that all these um, hakdamas, are, uh, first of all, I hope they're, they're useful, but I hope you remember them for this in other words, for the next few shiurim, because these, these concepts are very, very important. Really, uh, I don't usually say this, really worth uh, understanding this, and Chazar, get over getting the world's clear. <coughs> but, Yotzer Aru Borei Chosha, Ose Shalom, Borei Es So it's interesting that in the world of Yotzer Ar, Ubore Chosha, counterintuitive, because the Or is in the world of Yitzira, the world of division. And Choshech is in the world of Bria, which is a higher world, so the higher world is darker. Like, like why would that be? Um, Ayen, in Adaris Eliyahu Bracious, uh, from the Vilna Gaon, you know, page three, where he talks, he brings from his father, um, why it says Yotzer or Ubore Choshech. The upshot of the thing is, that the world, Hashem created the world, Chosha. And then he divided out the Or. The Or is divided out. Chosha, I mentioned many times, is a default position. You, um, you can't block Chosha. You can only block light. Right. You, can pl- you can contain light, nobody sees it, like one of those Shabbos lamps. Go put the darkness in the Shabbos lamp. And you go try to can darkness. You can't do it. So, the, the, because darkness is a, is a default <coughs> Situation of the world. Yotzer or, that's already division. Before that, there was Choshech. The Latanya and Chavav tells us that um, it's, it's, it's important to understand from this that Choshech is a higher world. And, and what you don't understand is more important than what you do understand. Because what you do understand is in the world of Yitzira, maybe the world of Asiya. What you don't understand is even higher. What you don't understand, what seems like Choshech, Choshech means you don't know where you're going, like Ani Avavashesh Ba'afelo, what you don't understand means that it's coming from a higher world. The, the, sometimes um, what, what the Lushan of the Balatanya is, comes from the Oilama, the Iskasia, the covered world. Sometimes what's covered, you know, um, like you look at a Sefer Torah, so which, what's more, you know, the outside has Kava, the outside you're kissing it, or the outside, but what's really important there is what's on the inside, right? So, Olam Diskasya. Olam Diskasya is more, um, is more Chashev. The Hayat Tzarech Laimar HaMeven Komaseim. The correct Pasuk, if, you, if we would be writing this Pasuk, we would not write HaMeven El Kol Maasehem, we would write Habevin Kol Maasehem. Hashem understands all of our Maasehem. So what's that L for? He understands that which leads to our Maasehem. So if Maasehem, Machshav Atzchilo. Labav of Herak Yud Beis, Pirash of Achilas Habaisa. I spoke about the part of the Pasuk he says, which have to do with Maasehem. Now I'm going to show you what that L is for, leading to, and that has to do with Machshava more than anything else, because that's where every Maisa comes from. Unless you're an Oynas, which you're Pater from, unless you're a Shoigeg, that's your Pater from. There's so much to say, no time to say it, but I I just... um, You know, you know um, just let me remind you this, that uh, the Maral. <coughs> <coughs> Maral says that the reason why you find there's 39 makas. The person gets 39 makas if you do a, an Avera. Lushan of the Mishnah is how many makas do you get, Yaakov? I bought close our achas. They didn't know how to say 39. <laughs> the amount of malachas that there are is 39. What's Lushan of the Mishnah? It doesn't say Hamishim Chazarachas, it doesn't say anything else Chazarachas. It's, like, it's a funny, uh, funny Lashon of Chazal. So the Maral explains that um, you see the Gemara Nidda Daf Lamed that says that um, 
that the that the that in the ad arboim yoyim when a when a woman is, conceives until forty days maya baalma has a din of mayim the the uh, embryo has a, has a din of mayim it's not even called a a, a person really this has a lot of um, a lot of pasot to halacha the gemara but until forty days maya baalma. Um, and then from 40 days on, it starts to be called a person, Mugabe, different in Yonam, depends on what. Um, so the Gemara is direct that, you know, Amar, Amar of Levi, that on 39 days, the Kodesh Baruch Hu's bone the goof. Gidim, Shririn, the Gemara talks about. Biyoim har boyim, Nizrak boy neshama, interesting Lashem. Nizrak boy neshama. So the, there's so really says the Maral, there's thirty nine and one, or there's forty minus one. When you give makas to a person, so you really give him forty makas because it takes forty days. You violated your creation, which takes forty days. Hold on, my neshama didn't do nothing. <laughs> my neshama, I, I violated my neshama. Neshama screaming at me. So it's okay. Our boy chaser achas. Get it? That's our our boy chaser achas is forty minus one. 40 minus 1 means 40 minus the neshama. Same thing with Melech HaShavos. Wherever else you'll see that Lashon. So Chazal or B'dayik, B'dayik, at every word that, the, that they say, there's a reason why they said what they said. Uh, yeah, the Likud is that there's the world of Baisa, there's the world of Deber, there's the world of Meshavah. The Meshavah is the Achas. So, I'll always call it, by the way, Achas. Achas, it's always called Achas in, in, uh, in, the, in the liturgy. Always called Achas. That specifically 40... Uh, that's when a Baskal right. comes so up. That's Why is that our boy Mion? I don't know if it's connected. That's a, that's a very important question which everybody speaks about. What, hap- what happens to our boy Mion Koyna Bavla? It's a very interesting. Uh, uh, usually they start talking about inducing you. <laughs> like, I don't, like our boy Mion Koyna Bavla, I just, I just had a vice was talking to somebody. It was like, they they want to they wanna do a C section. Like, I said, why? What did you do today? Yeah, but they're worried. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, Babish is interrupting the Baskal in the middle of a sentence here. <laughs> He's going to stare a shinuch. <laughs> this is going to stare a shinuch. Our boy, we have quite a lot of Baskal, Bachrezes, Vibaris, Basploidy, Laploidy, like, unless it's really <laughs> indicated medically, like, what, what's the, uh, what, what are you doing here? Okay, that's a different. Uh, got all my opinions on everything here today. <laughs> Education, childbirth, <laughs> I got to talk about everything. Okay, let's let's leave it with this. There's a, there's a lot to say, but the hakdama is important. But our sugya is Mir Tashav Sunday. We talk about the sugya of Machshava, the sugya of Beshava, the sugya of Bria. That's that's the three that we're talking about. <laughs>